what's up again everybody welcome back to the channel or welcome to if this is your first time i have a question for everybody i need some assistance on what you guys think we should do so we got all these projects right we got four at the house right now two over at gavin's house i'll get over there in a little while and show you in this video we got the 05 mini cooper s it's automatic we got the 2007 ford f-150 with the Triton motor, which kind of sucks. We got the 08 Ford Mustang V6 automatic. And then we got the ADA IROC Z Camaro, third gen Camaro that does not run. Um, I want to know what you guys think we should do with all of these. I'm up in the air about the Mustang when we walk over there, or not, excuse me, not the Mustang, the Camaro. Uh, I've been up and down about selling it, trading it, fixing it. Uh, it's a pretty hefty project. It's filled with bees right now. I wonder if they're gonna attack me if I open it. It's a pretty big project. There's random stuff all over the place, as you can see. There's wires everywhere. The radio is missing. Random parts inside here. We got a cat back exhaust in here. Uh, there's some shocks inside that box right there. Uh, that was a computer. A new um, throttle body injection system there. More computers and stuff down there. This is a huge project. Uh, one that I'm not 100% on doing. Uh, it takes a lot of money, and I don't have that kind of money to fix. Uh, it's got electrical problems, all kinds of stuff, plus the bodywork. Uh, I've had an offer for a trade for a truck that ends a head gasket, but uh, again, it's the truck is another older truck. It's kind of junky. needs a lot of bodywork. The guy thinks that it's worth a lot more than it is. Let me know what you think about this. The F-150, um, I can't get rid of it yet. I would like to upgrade my truck. However, I need a truck the trailer and since this is the only truck that i currently have i can't get rid of it but i would like to upgrade at some point give me some ideas of what's what you guys would think would be a good replacement truck for this whether you think you know sticking with ford going gm or chevy or maybe a dodge something like that toyota whatever other vehicles you guys think this also annoys me how these guys stick out of here and then the Mustang, I have absolutely no attachment to this thing at all. I paid $300 for it. I uh, did a couple of headlights on it and a few other small things. Radiator, excuse me, alternator. Uh, belt, tension pulley, crank pulley. A few other things were done to this. It has a transmission issue and it still has a belt squeal, which I'm thinking is power steering. Could potentially be the AC compressor. AC does not work in this either. Um, I don't have the key. This one's not as big of a project, but it does have, you can see, ripped seats things like that steering wheel is kind of junky i don't know if you know like some of the older steering wheels they like start to flake and fall apart and stuff that has that issue currently uh it's got some paint fade and clear coat chipping regular paint chips here crap ton of rock chips in this thing all over the place because small dents here and there nothing too major I did drive this thing when I got it, actually. I, I did a few small things to it, took it to the DMV. They failed it for the transmission code because it's a serious fault, as they say. So, yeah, this one, um, I have it listed on Marketplace for trade. Uh, I haven't really got any real offers for it. I tried messaging a few people with, like, Honda Civics and Del Souls and Preludes, things like that. But most of those guys are, are kind of stuck with their Hondas, and they don't want to trade for something like this. Uh, I don't really know the value. I marked it at around 3000 but I honestly have no idea what it's worth. This one also has bees living in it. So does that. Uh, and then the Mini Cooper. Um, I really like this car. I like this car a lot, actually. Uh, it has its issues, obviously. When I go high RPM, it likes to just drop gear and drop it in neutral and have to let off until it kicks back in and go again. Don't know why it does that, but I don't feel like messing with it again. I already have the valve body done i'd like to change the color a few other small things inside here the headliner is starting to sag i got little pins in here to hold it up but it's all the way around as you can see there up on top of here does the same thing and then all the way around as you can see back there headliner hanging down i was going to make a video on replacing the headliner i was going to go to joanne fabric pick up something i thought was cool pull the headliner out but it's just it's hard to find time to do stuff like that but everything works on this which is insane i mean it's a 2005. It's got 97,000 miles on it. The roof works. Everything works. I thought about painting the car, potentially getting it wrapped. I want to take the, uh, 
the stripes off. I don't know. There's a few things I'd like to do to this thing. I would like a color change. I do like the yellow. I like the theme of just random colors. I mean, we got yellow, orange, and white. So I, I do like the, the array of colors. However, I think this would look better in another color. I don't know what color, maybe white on black or black on white. So white body with black roof, something like that. Maybe paint the wheels black. I think painting the wheels black would look really good. Redoing these guys here, all of this, redoing all of that. Uh, black again. I'd like the, uh, the bezels for the headlights to be blacked out. The grill I'd like to be blacked out. The wheels I'd like to be blacked out. All of this little stuff along the sides like these, I'd like to be blacked out. I know you can buy them and just replace them. Um, all of this chrome trim, I'd like to de-chrome this whole thing, which means I'd need new taillights as well. All of this stuff I would I'd want to be black, so this would have to be black. I'd have to replace that guy, maybe change the color in here to match whatever I paint the car. I think it'd look cool like that, but again, you guys just let me know. Maybe this black as well. Let me know what you guys would think about all this. Let me uh, get into the Mini here. I'm gonna drive over to Gavin's, check out the Skyline and the Jeep. We'll see you guys there in a minute. All right, so now we're at Gavin's. As you can see, there's his truck here. That's his $500 truck right there. He paid $500 for that GMC Sierra, and it was tagged. Uh, the Skyline here, still on the trailer. I haven't taken it off yet. I haven't even unstrapped it yet. It's still strapped here. And there's an airplane flying over. Yeah, the Skyline, there's, there's, I have a lot of plans for this thing, um, but it's, again, it's a lot of work. It's paint chipping. Yeah, it, it's a lot of work to get this done. Uh, the motor itself, the block of the motor, is sitting inside his garage for the RB30. Uh, I planned on doing the 3025, the RB30 block with the 25 head. It's a lot of work. It's extremely expensive. I'm like over $10,000 into it. I'm not even close. So maybe buying a already built 25 temporarily until I can do that or trying to find and trade this for like a Stagia something like that but I really like this my friend imported it for me I don't really want to get rid of it tags expired last month two months ago whatever and then we got the XJ the XJ I originally bought for my daughter uh, she doesn't want it she hates it she thinks it's stupid she doesn't want anything this big so I don't know um, it needs a lot of work again it's the rust is starting to show through the frame back here or the unibody frame is is rusted out there again you saw before when we were showing the corners and the on the uh the cab or the living the driving area whatever you want to call it. i just call it the cab uh the corners of the cabs are pretty bad and it needs paint obviously i'd probably replace the hood or just fix the the hood pins here and add uh, heavier duty springs so it actually pops up but other than that it's not bad. It runs, it drives. I drove it over here. It's tag has been expired since 2019, but I took the risk and drove it over here. It's about eight minutes from the house. So this is another one, another project um, I would like to get going. I'd like to have like a winter beater and this would be perfect as a winter beater. Just fix the small things, the small holes in the body and probably replace the tires. I mean, you can see these tires are, are pretty bad, pretty bald. I was at a salvage yard a few weeks ago and they did have a couple of these but I really didn't know what I was going to grab, so I didn't grab anything. I thought about grabbing the hood, but I didn't, so whatever. I still have the latches that go underneath here. They're sitting in work, so if I was to replace the hood, I could put the old latches back on as long as the hood release works for this. I still have the new cable inside the back of this guy. So, I mean, I still have most of what I need for this. Spark plugs are sitting inside in the glove box. Uh, the key is sitting on the driver's seat, I believe, actually. I wonder if this will start. Let's see. Any bees in here? A spider. There's the key. Let's see if it'll start. It's got power. Yeah, I mean, it started right up. Not bad. 
still sounds like crap. We definitely need some exhaust work. And look, once it starts, it runs pretty good. It's, it clears up, it runs okay. Definitely needs a little bit of work, but nothing too serious as it seems. I think that uh, that panel over there, that guy right there, that solar panel is doing a pretty good job of keeping that battery charged. Maybe I should get one for all of my cars that just sit around. Like maybe get one for the Skyline, get one for the Mustang. The Camaro doesn't really matter because it doesn't run anyway, so it makes no difference. But again, let me know what you think I should do with this one, as well as all of the other projects. Uh, what would you guys like to see? Now, I know a lot of people like Hondas, a lot of people like American Muscle, but what would you guys like to see? The people that are actually watching the videos, let me know and we can try to figure something out. Or if you live in the area and you would like to trade for either the Camaro or the Mustang, let me know. We can work something out. I am Delaware so on East, East Coast. Um, I do have the trailer. I'm willing to haul if you need to meet somewhere or come to you as long as you're not terribly far away. Um, I don't mind driving to like Virginia, things like that. Uh, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, whatever. I'm fairly close to most of those. But yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do. If you'd like to trade something, if you'd like a little more information on some of these cars so that we can work out a deal, let me know. Um, if you have a Honda Prelude that's not a rat fest or rotted out, let me know. I do like Preludes. We can figure something out on that. But again, let me know what you guys think we should do as another project, what we should start next, what we should do with the current projects, the direction we should go with the projects. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just leave it at that for now. Again, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.